Hello RVers, today is the day I get to introduce you to the all new Opus, OP4. We've been waiting for this thing to come in for a year and a half now and it's finally arrived. And I'm Joel here at Veering Service Center where I have three of these Opuses currently in stock. It is currently April 29th, so if you do want to get your hands on one of these guys, do so quickly as they will sell out. Some real quick specifications. It is uh, 21 feet 4 inches when it's open and 18 feet 4 inches when it's closed with a dry weight of around 3,100 pounds. So this will sleep 4 to 5 people very comfortably and is super tall. Um, so you have no problem up in there, standing up in there, no problem because it is super tall inside. So obviously with this Opus, it's inflatable, has the air tubes in it, so it'll pop open in about uh, 90 seconds. All in all, setup time will be probably close to 10, 15 minutes. Just depends how good you are and how many times you get to um, set up and take it down because it is, there is a process to it. Once you learn it, it will not be a problem. So let's get to it and show you the great features of this Opus on this quick tour of this brand new camper that just came in. So this is gonna be your control panel right here. Shows how full your water tanks are. There are two tanks on board, one for your outdoor kitchen area and then one for your outdoor shower area. Tells you how many volts and amperage you're getting. That's your control for your um, air lift suspension for your, for your tent ends. Then you got controls for your water pump, your plugs, your refrigerator, your lights, and then the heater as well. And this does come with a remote to control, to self drive the camper. So it has the um, remote control trailer mover. So you got this little device right here, which will activate and actually you can move the trailer around with a remote control. You got your two steps in to get into the camper. You got stab jacks on all four sides. And you got your handy dandy outdoor kitchen with your huge four burner cooktop, your cook light, your storage rack, which folds down, folds up. And then you got your sink with hot and cold water and a nice cutting board here as well. So that's the outdoor kitchen with an extendable cooktop surface. And then we have three drawers here as well. One will hold your silverware and then just a couple of the drawers here as well. Well, one drawer one little opening area houses your hoses for your water system. Making our way over is gonna be your 12 volt refrigerator in its own compartment with a fan. So that way you can run it going down the road and it'll help keep it cool inside that compartment. But you got your lever here, push on the lever and it will release it and you will pull out the drawer with your refrigerator. Um, this latch, opens up and then you can see inside you got a good amount of space in here for meats, for milk, eggs, things like that. You can keep it nice and cool in here on this Opus. And then again, in transit, pack it full of food and I would recommend having it turned on and load turned on for 24 hours before you actually load it full of food. That way it'll break down the temperature to where you can keep your food in it um, and be nice and cold. And then you just shut the door, a couple latches here, and now you're all set to travel. And then the front deck will be spots here for propane tanks and other items you wanna store along with you. You got your nice heavy duty front um, area where you would tow it. Nice view of the canvas up inside there. Moving to the off door side, got your shelf that pulls out here. And they do a great job of giving you everything you need, really. Your water hoses, your wheel chocks, extra um, regulator. Um, you just get a lot of cool stuff with it right from the get. Extra bed support there. And then moving down further, down the side of the camper, you'll see your large rack here. That does sit on top of the camper in transit. And this will house your hot water heater, outside shower. And then you can, of course, 
add on extra items, spikes and things like that if you want to store more with you. This is a good view of your large Good Ride tires and then your Phillips box for your fresh water tanks with a locking cap. More hookups down here for water as well. Mud flap. Stabilizer bars and then your Iron Man outdoor shower. That's also has a built-in shower system here as well. If you're off-road and get a little muddy, no problem. Come inside your Iron Man shower tent and get clean. And then on the back side will be your spare tire. Another outdoor shower. And these are the bars that add extra support for your rear tent in as well. This also will have on board a receiver. And then under on the underneath side will be your diamond plated steel protections for your fresh water tanks. So if you are doing a lot of off-roading rocks, roots, tree stumps, whatever, that will protect your tanks from just about anything, honestly. And of course you got your nice torsion axles down there, heavy duty. You can really do some overlanding with this Opus RV. So let's step on in to your new Opus 4. And just as I raise it up, look how tall it is. I'm 6'2", and I got that much more room to touch the ceiling, so plenty of space. You don't feel closed in at all. You got your front bed there. I'm sorry, your back bed, and then your front bed over there right behind your U-shaped dinette. So again, this will sleep four to six people, two per bed, and then one or two even on that large U-shaped dinette. You got lights there in the floor, and then you have, we have lighting option in up in the ceiling, two LED strips right there. And for those lights, you'll want to just plug it in and then you'll have power. And then you have this nice little switch here to operate the, the lights. And then you get your table top there in the center. It does have legs that are, that are adjustable. If you want it to be a little taller, feel free. Got your radio down below there along with your safety features, your fire extinguisher, and then your uh, smoke alarm. This is option with your Truma furnace, so that's where that comes into play right there with your vent. All right, in the back also we have your cassette toilet there in the little cabinet. So it is portable, but it goes down, top goes down, and now you don't even know it's there. Then under this cabinet is going to be your bank of 100 amp hour AGM batteries with vents and under then under this next cabinet will be water lines your Chuma furnace and then your water pump and if you want some more stuff stored down below there's plenty more room for extra items Got your fuse box, your lights, and your speakers down by the U-shaped dinette. So this camper has everything you need to enjoy days, weeks out in Mother Nature, whether it's at your normal campsite or again, if you want to do some boondocking, get off the grid, you can easily camp multiple days anywhere in this Opus 4 available today at Veerinks RV Center. So, comments, questions, please call me at any time, 616-965-9623. Joel, here at Veerinks RV Center in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on the campground. Or I won't, if you have this Opus 4, where you can go anywheres.